Hello everyone, Emmanuel here, working on cakes. I'm just going to show you where I'm at on this badass project, which is uh, a 52 year old Capri, right? I am removing, I'm using a spam technique. Okay, I've just named it the spam technique, which is using, uh, mm, yeah, the spam method where like you're opening a, a tin of corned beef or whatever, where you have to use a little key and you wind it. So, because uh, this is a, it's all of this area, it's like a channel and you, you can't really get into it. And also, you don't want to bend this lip, etc., uh, etc. Et so, uh, I'm doing, I'm making progress. I'm using this as a load spreader. Uh, so, when I'm turning this, if I put a lot of force, twisting force, or on a risk of bending, because this is thin metal. So, I'm putting this under, under my pliers, uh, using it a bit as a load spreader. Yeah! Lots of inventive goings on, going ons. So uh, that's what I'm doing now. And uh, I'll update you in a minute. It's been a massive success. Massive success. Yeah. Ja, ja, ja. Ja, 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 ja. Focus, baby. Last little bit. I wanted to share it with you. Come on, you little sod. Gone. Well, that wasn't very dramatic, was it? Well, now I've got to go in and uh, clean up, which includes a bit of filing, grinding, wire brushing, and that's pretty much it. Okay, cool. At the minute, I'm going to melt this, which is the lead loading. I've got my uh, flamethrower torch here with the light. That's freaking odd. Gas that doesn't want to ignite. It's a blow lamp, it's not a flamethrower, okay. Why is it not igniting? Come on, dude. Okay, chaps, so we've done that. Well, it's not we, it's just me here. So I've done that. Let me just get the zoom working. There we go. So that's the most of the lead off on the floor. This little square needs to come off uh, and down here so as to leave that for the roof. So I'll get on with that now. You don't want to put too much pressure on it because then you can start bending panels that uh, you don't want to bend. We've got a visitor. <laughs> got a little visitor. What's up, dude? He's already been here once this evening. He had uh, some food, but I don't think it's his favorite. He's come back for more. 
Anyway, I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to call this a night. Because I've got to go. But, uh... I'll get on with removing this little bit. Hopefully tomorrow. Okay, another day at the office. I am seeing what looks like substantial surface rust. And I'm thinking... to go in with a bit of a wire brush to have a look but that to me looks a bit it's going to be a bit on the thin side at the very least <laughs> the torch is in the way I don't that we were going to have to uh... <laughs> abandon project. Yeah. <laughs> right, what? Can you make a roof? That's <laughs> where we're at. Obviously that needs clamping down. Thanks to Mr. Raymond's right thumping hand. So all, all this is lead here. All that's lead. So that will melt away. That's in the right place. That edge now needs clamping down. And that's the front. That's very nice. Again, nims clamping down, and so on. No, so forth and so on. Kate's got a brown roof. Kate, look at that man. She's got brown, yellow, cement colour, black, rust. Is that the hair transplant? <laughs> well, things are looking pretty good, but on here, right? This is supposed to be a single skin coming out, dipping in, coming out, and dipping in under that panel. I'm pretty sure what I'm looking at here is an excess layer. It's definitely been uh, fiddled. There's all sorts of um, uh, marks uh, indicating that someone's been here before. And as I say, they didn't cut the, the intermediary panel off. Well, my guess is that my work uh, if it will last 20 years, that will take us to 2043. Um, if it will last that long, you know, until you start seeing bubbling and stuff like that. I reckon it's, I mean, this is a bit of a, you know, I'm finding this kind of work and I feel those dudes that did this work I just, I don't feel resentment or anything like that. I just think, bodgers. But I'm, I'm about to do it now. So were they bodgers? Maybe they were, and I'm a bodger too. You know, the point where you're being anal and perfectionistic, it can be a problem. And we've got a visitor again. Hello, dude. You know what? I've got some prawns in the freezer. Do you reckon you want more on a prawn? Frozen prawn. I'll see if I can thaw it out. Do you fancy a prawn? Do you fancy a prawn? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Another day in the life and I want to show you the progress I've made, which is uh, I've, I've, got, I've done basically this half of the car up here. I uh, took some of the surface rust away. Um, I've left this as it is, still not entirely sure what I'm going to do, 
and uh, it's looking nice and clear and clean you know it's one of those days it's been one of those days that some of you might relate to where everything you touch or think about is fucked mm. right left up down in out We've got the car all the top roof of the car is ready now I've primed it and all that and I've been working on this uh, roof and cleaning because I think we're going to try and spot weld this got to clean that side this side all, all four basically it's got to be really clean I'm going to have to go in and uh, just um, clear, clear this where I put the zinc because the zinc isn't as good as uh, clean steel as far as I can tell so yeah that's where I'm at I'm getting there right Kate is on her axle stands and she's unstressed This is how, how it's sitting. You've got to be oh, he's back again, man. Every time I pick the camera, he's coming in. All right, dude. See you in a minute. So that's the first drop in. Um, as I said, that one's going to be clamping in. Why, why is it sticking like that? I mean, it's doing the job, but the, the electrodes are kind of getting welded on the job. Perhaps I need cleaning. Or I shouldn't let it cool on the mm. job. Oh, it's blown again. No way. For fuck's sake. It's blown again, dude. Right, Ray and I have just spent half an hour replugging things because we keep knocking fuses, blowing things out. Let's see if this works. Am you ready? Yep. Oh, I think we've blown it again, dude. No way. Yeah, yeah it's dead as a dodo, mate. Dude, did you say this thing works all right at your place? Yeah. So why is it not working all right here? I have no idea. Turn that thing off. <laughs> okay, chaps and ladies, I am making progress with a spot welder. We've gone direct with the cable and it's, uh, it's working a lot better. So the front has all been spot welded. Um, that's done. And now I am working on the uh, the seams or channels, whatever these are called. Yeah. Yeah, when the spot welder works, guys, it is a beauty to work with. 
I just want to point out that I don't know if I um, had, to, had to buy a brass bar um, and then uh, shape it so that it fits in the channel. Yeah, it's that just the top part. Just the top part. Come on, focus, baby. It doesn't want to focus, does it? Anyway, you kind of get the idea, guys. That here was a round bar and I've kind of flattened it so that it fits in the channel groove anyway enough of that well last night Ray and I heard a, a noise outside of smashing glass and um, uh, we went to investigate in fact we were sat we were standing outside Ray's unit it was in the, it was dark it was at night time and we heard a smashing sound, we went to investigate, didn't find anything. As we were walking back, heard another smashing sound, and that time we thought, there's something going on here. Hello dude, Hello, come on in. How you doing? I'm diddling well, man. I'm just telling our followers what happened last night. Um, so we went over to investigate, and there was a guy uh, smashing the glass to get into one of the units next door. And um, we... We shouted at him and he fucked off. Will found him, man. No way. He found him. Anyway, the guy, the guy's obviously, uh, he let him go. Like, he, he found some first aid kits he robbed from the vans and stuff like that. No way. Apparently, they've, they found him sitting at the stairs in some flats reading a Bible. Isn't that weird? Wow. So it's just weirder and weirder. So that was a bit scary. Uh, you know, what you call it when you come across yeah. a robber, or a, a thief? You know. Huh? Oi! <laughs> yeah, oi! Get out of here! And uh, so yeah, that happened last night. So what Ray and I are doing now... Hello Mr. Ray. Hi. We are gonna... Well actually, I'm saying we. I don't know if you want it, but... I'm gonna turn the car around because... Ray's spot weld has only got a short lead. And it doesn't seem to want to work unless it's on this short lead. So I'm gonna turn Kate around to have the other edge this side. Push, push, push. Push, push, push. Whoop, 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 whoop. What's her rear bum cheek, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do that one. Right, get it nice and into the... Do you know what I forgot? What? We put the stress back on the roof, haven't we? I'm zooming in. Did that feel? Very good. Very good. Yes, sir. Make sure you're 100% happy with it before you weld it. Ah, <coughs> oh, shit. Oh, there we go again. <laughs> You got carried away? Yeah. <laughs> I think I think it likes a break, you know what I mean? Yeah. Ready? I am. Let's blow some fuses, man. Yep. We're a bit out of whack mm. on the electrodes. Mm. Let's sort that out too. Mm. It's heating up so much, it's yeah, melting. It's, 
We need to bend it back. Should we first. straighten it up a bit? Yeah. Shall I pause this? Yeah. Oh, mate, that's much, much better. That is a world apart. Yeah, those, those, those are gonna need. Those are gonna. Need. It's beautiful, beautiful afternoon. And see, that's the corner that Rose's been working on, right there. Working man, do you, do you want some screws? Yeah, I've got them here somewhere. I've, I've, I've hid them. Oh, you've hid them? Yes, that's very nice of you. Hit that spot there. Yeah, that's what I was going to... Can you just push that down? What do I look, man? I look like a little bitch. Come on, man, just push the damn thing, it will do it. No, 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 I want to close the gap before I I'm screw busy in. filming, man, just, just push. Just put your hand on there and stop being a wimp. <coughs> Ready? Yeah. Okay. Mm, I quite like the idea of Kate having some rivets, man. <coughs> like a Bugatti. Like an old Bugatti with rivets. Right. Chaps, thanks for watching the video. Kate's roof is on. And I've left some pigeon poo. So I'm gonna, there's about four welds there, clear them off and then uh, finish it off. That's what it's looking as a finished um, metal work. I don't know what I'm talking about. You know what I mean. The roof's on, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> if I may say so myself, that's probably my best my best work so next is to repair this boot panel that's the boot panel which has got numerous um rust holes anyway so i've got to repair that thing and then i've got to repair the both doors i'll rephrase that i've got to repair both doors which i think they're repairable these doors were spares and as it happens they fitted better than the doors the car came with. So Kate, sweetheart, you're gonna get your doors mended and you're also gonna get your boot lid mended. So, uh, oh, next. Actually, no, it's not next, but it's in the pipeline. Is a limited slip differential conversion, which is basically this thing here, all right? It's a gripper uh, limited slip differential. This is all of Kate's um, rear axle bits. That's the Atlas axle she came with and that's the one that's gonna go back in, okay? Um, I, I've never driven a limited slip diff car. As far as I know, if you're going around a corner and you want the back end to come out, which I like to think I do, um, it will help you control the drift more. That's as I understand it. But perhaps in more technical terms, a limited slip differential is for going faster, not necessarily for drifting. That's it. It's moving as well. It's heavy. It says gripper on it. And this thing is a conversion to the original differential, which is this thing here. 
think that, that's the original, okay. All good. And yeah, so that's going to be uh, a, a video. I've got the bearings today. These came from um, Evans and Sons Rally Spares in Wales. Very nice people, very good people. Uh, so we're going to build that up. I've already powder coated Kate's drums and her. Um, the, this is the bowl that uh, goes behind the axle. Anyways, thank you guys. I really appreciate you. I do read all your comments. Uh, some of you send me emails and I respond to those. Um, thank you to Kenroot in Kansas, in Tecumseh, Kansas. Some of you might have heard of that name, Tecumseh. I'm probably pronouncing it terribly, but I think they make mowers there. Because I've seen engines here, right? And they've got that name on them, Tecumseh. Anyway, thank you, Ken, my dear friend from Kansas, for sending me some really nice hot calendars for the new year, which we are in now, 2023. And also, my sister says thank you, because you sent her a calendar too, so she doesn't feel left out. One with cowboys and a lot of uh, sweat. And, yeah, thank you to all of you guys who make a special effort sometimes by commenting or emailing and now that some of you send parts as well to us so thank you very much um share this video if you think someone you know might also enjoy it give us a like please and leave a comment and if you want buy something that you think you might get some value out of see you later bye